A chill runs down her spine as she wakes up, disoriented and fearful. She is enveloped in a dense fog of confusion, her senses struggling to make sense of her surroundings. This is not her room, her bed, her world. Instead, she finds herself immersed in an alien reality, an eerie, dim-lit chamber pulsating with strange machinery, a grotesque tableau of unknown symbols etched into the metallic surfaces. The hum of the spacecraft is a relentless thrum in her ears, an unsettling lullaby that stirs up primal fear within her. It's a sound that's foreign, yet terrifyingly omnipresent. It's a sound that promises no comfort, only a stark reminder of her isolation. In the distance, a cacophony of alien chatter seeps into her awareness. It's a language she can't comprehend, a symphony of strange noises that grates against her sanity, amplifying her terror. Her heart beats like a drum, echoing her fright in the cold metallic confines of the spaceship. As she ventures deeper into the spaceship, her worst fears come to life. In the heart of the alien vessel, she stumbles upon a sight that chills her to the bone. She encounters the aliens for the first time, their forms are monstrous, their bodies black and slimy. These grotesque beings are unlike anything she's ever seen, a nightmarish mix of the hideous and the unknown. The guttural sounds they produce are alien and terrifying, a language that echoes around the cold metallic corridors and freezes her blood. Her heart pounds in her chest like a war drum, every beat matching the rhythm of her escalating fear. The sight of the aliens sends her into a panic, her mind racing to process the horrifying reality. This isn't a dream, this isn't a hallucination. This is real, and it's far more terrifying than any horror movie she's ever watched. She's invaded their space and she knows she's not welcome. She can feel it in the air, thick with tension, the danger palpable. They move with a predatory grace, their slimy bodies gliding over the spaceship's surface. She's in their territory now and they don't take kindly to intruders. But she's not ready to give in just yet. The fear fuels her, adrenaline pumping through her veins like liquid fire. She ducks behind a corner, her breath hitching as she narrowly avoids detection. She's not a warrior, she's not a hero, but she's a survivor. And right now, survival is her only option. She's seen them now, the monstrous inhabitants of this alien spaceship. She's heard their strange language, seen their black slimy forms. She's felt the terror they inspire, and she knows she can't stay here. She can't become their prey, their victim. She has to escape, has to find a way out of this living nightmare. She knows now the nightmare is real, and she must escape or face a fate worse than death. Her heart pounding, she runs, the aliens now hot on her trail. The still air of the spaceship is shattered by the echoing thump of her footsteps and the guttural growls of her pursuers. A misstep, a moment's hesitation, could spell the end. But fear sharpens her senses. She has no choice but to push on. Inadvertently, she'd triggered an alien device. Its shrill alarm had cut through the silence like a knife, alerting the black, slimy creatures to her presence. She'd seen them before, lurking in the shadows, speaking in their bizarre, unintelligible language. They were a threat she could not ignore. The chase is on. It's a terrifying game of cat and mouse, played out in the dimly lit corridors of this otherworldly labyrinth. The spaceship, a maze of cold metallic surfaces and disorientating turns, becomes her battleground. She can't outrun them forever. She must rely on her wits. She ducks into alcoves, crawls through narrow passages and leaps over obstacles with a desperation she's never known. Each breath feels like a victory snatched from the jaws of defeat. Each heartbeat is a ticking clock, reminding her that time is not on her side. The aliens are relentless. They squelch and squirm through the ship. Their grotesque forms are stark contrast to the sterile environment. Their strange language echoes through the corridors, a chilling soundtrack to this deadly chase. But she's not just a victim, she's a survivor. She uses the alien ship against them, triggering doors to close in their faces, causing distractions with the strange technology. She's clever, resourceful, and fueled by a primal instinct to survive. Yet, as she rounds another corner, narrowly avoiding capture, she realizes the stark truth. This isn't sustainable. She can't keep up this relentless pace. She can't keep relying on luck and narrow escapes. As the adrenaline surges through her veins and her lungs scream for air, one thought becomes crystal clear. She needs a plan. She knows she can't keep this up forever. She needs a plan. In the midst of chaos, her survival instincts kick in. Even in this alien world, the primal part of her brain takes control, the part that doesn't care about the whys and the hows, only the how to survive. She surveys her surroundings. 
The ship is a labyrinth of black, slimy corridors, but our protagonist manages to piece together a rudimentary map in her mind. She's always been good at puzzles, and now her life depends on solving the most complex one she's ever faced. But a map isn't enough, she needs a plan. The alien technology is unlike anything she's seen, but she's a quick study. She watches from the shadows as the aliens operate their devices, their strange language echoing through the cold metallic halls. Slowly, she starts to understand. She finds a control panel, a hub of alien technology. It's a risk, but she takes it. Her fingers glide over the unfamiliar surface, mimicking the gestures she's seen the aliens make. She's not sure what each action does, but she's hoping it will cause enough of a distraction to buy her some time. The tension is palpable. The plan is a gamble, based on shaky understanding and blind hope. But it's all she has. She can feel the presence of the aliens, their black slimy forms lurking in the shadows. Their strange language is a constant eerie hum in the background. She knows they will attack on sight and she cannot afford to be seen. She moves with a careful, deliberate grace, avoiding the areas where the aliens frequently patrol. Each moment is a test of her courage and her resolve. Each step brings her closer to freedom, or to death. It's a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek, and she is painfully aware that she is the prey. Her plan is set, now everything depends on her execution. She knows she can't afford any mistakes. She has one shot at this, one chance to escape. The next few minutes will decide her fate. It's do or die, and she's not ready to die. Not yet. Not here. With a deep breath, she readies herself for the final act. The air is thick with tension, the silence is deafening. The pulse of the ship, a low, eerie hum, is the only sound accompanying her racing heartbeat. The plan, a desperate concoction of audacity and hope, is set into motion. She triggers a device she'd fashioned from the alien technology. It whirs to life, a cacophony of strange sounds and lights, a spectacle designed to draw the attention of her captors. The echoes of the distraction reverberate through the ship, a siren song to the lurking aliens. Her feet spring into action, carrying her through the ship's labyrinthine corridors. She darts through the shadows, a spectre of determination. The black, slimy figures of the aliens rush past her, lured away by the diversion. Their strange language fills the air, an unsettling symphony of confusion and alarm. The spaceship is an alien maze, a puzzle of dark corners and strange technology. Every step is a gamble, every turn a roll of the dice, but she pushes forward, driven by a primal instinct to survive, to escape. Close calls punctuate her flight. She ducks into alcoves, narrowly avoiding detection. Her breath catches in her throat as an alien rushes past, its eyes blind to her presence. She presses herself further into the shadows, praying to remain unseen. The alien moves on, and she lets out a sigh of relief, a whisper in the cacophony of the spaceship. The path ahead is fraught with danger, but she persists. She stumbles upon an alien creature, its back turned to her. Fear grips her, but she pushes it aside, lunges forward, and strikes. The alien crumples to the ground and she moves on, leaving the fallen foe behind. Her heart pounds in her chest, a relentless drum echoing her desperation. Her legs burn with exhaustion, but she forces them to carry her further, faster. The spaceship's exit looms ahead, a beacon of hope in the darkness. She lunges forward, throwing herself towards freedom. The door slides shut behind her, sealing the nightmare away. She stumbles, falls to the ground, but the cold, hard surface beneath her has never felt more welcoming. She gazes up at the sky, at the stars twinkling in the darkness, a sight she'd feared she'd never see again. Relief washes over her, followed by an overwhelming sense of triumph. She's done it, she's escaped. Against all odds, she escapes, leaving the alien spaceship and her nightmare behind. The echoes of her ordeal fade away, swallowed by the vast expanse of space. She's free, and the taste of victory is sweet.